Okay, so this week we are going to be doing the second ice of um, the beer, the, third, the second beer of Shreya Nivanava, which is on page Ches Ahmed Bey's second column of Daf Ches um, in the uh, in the uh, in Shir Shem and the Kudatera. Here we go. Hine Ksiv. So in the last Ois, in the last piece of the Mimer, he explains that between every two worlds, you need an intermediary level. And he explains that's the level of Keser that has within it the last level of the emanator and the first of the emanations. So he's going to say, and as he finished off the, um, when he finishes off um, the Ois, um, that this light actually from the Kesser ultimately comes down into the levels of the vessels of, of Atzillus. Um, and so this is where he's holding now. So he says, so it says, <laughs> that to you Hashem is the greatness and the strength. In other words, that the, the, uh, the uh, Midas, um, the, the emotive levels, the spheres of Atzillus, they are totally nullified in the essence of the light of the Ain't Saf, which he is not of these midos whatsoever. And the same way also the level of Malchus, which is the, lev- the last of these ten of Atzillus, is also nullified and totally unified within the light of the Ain't Saf, as it says in the verse, to you Hashem is the kingship. And he said, it is known that in Atzillus, we, it is said, Ihu, meaning he, meaning God, Vigarmoyi, and his Vessels, chad, are one, which even also says, he and his light, we'll see about that soon. Um, he's not mentioning that right now. But he's saying he and his vessels, even the level of vessels, are all totally one in Atzillus. In other words, the Malchus, which is the vessel of Atzillus of Malchus, is totally one within the Oren Saf. On the other hand, when it comes to the world of Bria, there... It is a creation, so to speak, of something from nothing, which means that the creation feels itself as a separate being. And even the ten vessels of the of the of Briatsirnatsia are also created beings. And therefore, they do not also, they also don't have that they're not one, the vessels and God, so to speak, the light are not one. And therefore, in order that there should be this drawing down from the ten levels of Atsilas into the ten spheres of Bria, Yitzir, and Asiya, the lower worlds, is also through an intermediary, which means the level of Malchus, of Atsilas, becomes Atik, becomes, so to speak, the, 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 uh, the emanator or the creator or the Atik, the higher level of Bria. So he said it comes the attic, the 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 old, the the the, the ancient, so the, the higher level of Bria. And he explains in Eitzchaim, Sharam of Perak Dalad, and if you look in the back in Eitzchaim, the today's pages are different. That that the that it that it encloses within the crown of Bria, which means in the level of Arich Anpin de Bria. So just as we had in Kesser before, there was two levels. The higher level of the crown is called attic which is the emanator, and the lower level is called Arach Anpin, which is the lower level, which is the highest level within the creation or the emanations. So so to here, what do we have? How, how does Malchus, Malchus has this, is also this intermediary that it becomes the attic, the higher level of this crown <coughs> of Bria that encloses within the Arach Anpin of Bria, which is the beginning, so to speak, of that world of Bria. And that's why it's an intermediary between Atzillus and Bria, as we said before, in the idea of Kesser of Atzillus itself, which we mentioned. So it comes out that there is in the level of Malchus of Atzillus two levels. Number one is the way it is in Atzillus. Before it descends to become an Atik to Bria. Which then, as it is in Atzillus, it's in a total unification with the light of the Ur and Saf, as we said, Lacha Hashem Amlacha, that to you Hashem is the kingship. And the second level is when it gets drawn down from Atzillus and it can close itself in the world of Bria to become an attic to Bria. And that's the level of he was king, he, will, he is king, and he will be king. In other words, that then he becomes a source, 
and the and the for the creation of time of past, present, and future. On the other hand, Natsilis, you can't say such a level because there, Natsilis, he is, he he will be, and he was as all in one second. And so when the Malchus descends into Bria, then it's called in the term of the Gemara, and also the Targum Unculus, it's called with the term Shechina. Why? Because it, it, it rests, resides in the Heichel, in the room of the Holy of Holies, that there they would res- it, it, it rested. <clears throat> Godliness, as is explained in Tanya Perik Nun Gimel. And there, in other words, in the, in the, in the room of the Holy of Holies, as it is in Biyah. In other words, every world is like a base of Migdash. And the highest levels of Chachma and Bina, or Chachma, that is the world of the Kodesh HaKadashim of that world. And the same thing also in the actual Kodesh HaKadashim that there was in the Beis HaMikdash. So there you could say the term Shechina, that, God re- that the light resides there. On the other hand, the way it is in Atzillus itself, you can't say the term Shechina. Why? Because there it's totally unified with the light of the Ain't Saf and a total unification, and it's not enclosed or resting in the source of creations yet. <clears throat> so, remember, I think this, this is the way to, to look at this. He's saying is that in the way we're using Shechina, the word Shechina here, that it is residing within creations that you cannot say about the level of Shechina as it is in Malchus of Atzillus as it's still in Atzillus. Only when it becomes a level of Atik of Bria, and then it comes and it closes itself in the Arachampin of Bria, which that is the source of the ten spheres of Bria. And in Bria, they are actual creations, and there resides the revelation of godliness. So there you could say the term Shechina, that the level of the kingship of God, of Atzillus, which in it is enclosed the light of the Ur Saf that comes from the Kav, that that is residing within Bria. And therefore, there you can have the term Shechina. So the level of Malchus, as it is Atik, of Bria, there you could use the term Shechina. And so he says, this is like it says in Pardis in the Erech HaKlalim, in the Erech of Shechina, on the, on the, on the, on the, in the, <coughs> okay, I'm not, I don't remember that word Erech, but it means the, uh, the, uh, on the topic of Shechina. That he says, that it resides in the lower world, the entire supernal Atzalus. So again, it's the same idea. Only when it's Atik in the lower world, then it's called Shechina. And then this it says, V'shachanti B'tzaychama, reside amongst you, right? The idea of a Shechina here is within you. And the same way, the Shechina Yisidrishu, you should search him out where he rests, rests in this world, rests in the Beis HaMikdash. And according to this, we'll understand also what the Magid told the Beis Yosef and the idea of the Shechinta, which the Shalom brings the sound down at the end of his Akdama, in the beginning what he said, and what in the in the in the part that begins with the Shlemus in Yenzeb, that for the complete idea here, I'll bring down the words of the Magid, which the Magid was a some type of uh, uh, of Nishama or something that came and taught the Beis Yosef different things. And so it's, he brings there and continue there. And then in this to the Ramban, what hinted to him, what he says, and this is the quote that, that he's now, that the Shalah is going to quote on, that, <coughs> that, ki, that, ki he man that he, in other words, the, 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 he is with them in a unity, but not in Atzillus. And he said, many have, have failed in understanding his words, but according to the words, the explanation of the Magid, it's explained well, that Shechina refers to the queen, meaning Malchus. And that is with the ten supernal spheres in one unity, but at the same time is not with them in Atzillus until here is the language of the Shalah, meaning it says Malchus is already down, coming down into Bria. And there you have Achtus Imahem, but not in Atzillus. And he says, but this sounds like it's a, a contradiction to what's explained in the Arizal, in the writings of the Arizal, that the level of Shechina is Malchus of Atzillus itself. He said, according to what we explained, it makes sense, it's his, his, his understanding, his meaning here. Because it's also, as we explained, the name of the Arizal, that the Malchus of Atzillus has within it two levels. Number one, that which is united and with, one within ten spheres of Atzillus, and the second one that becomes Atik of Bria. And the Shechina is called the second level, which is a Malchus, which is the Atik of Bria. Okay, so... Now we understand that, that according to this, there's no argument between what the Shalah is saying and what the Arizal is saying. He says, yet, 
According to what we learned before in Shir Hashirim, we explained that Shechinta Yilah, there's two levels. We said that Shechina Tatar and Shechinta Yilah. And there we said the higher level of Shechina is the level of Bina. And explained that the reason in Pardis is because the three higher levels of Chacham Bina and Das, they reside over the ten spheres of Binyan, which is, I believe, the, the ten spheres, which is the Rim Bina. So Bina could be called the level of, of, of uh, or uh, the, so the Bina could be called the level of Shechina. Um, or to reside, I, mean, I could be mistaken here, it could be that he resides on the za that, that is there. But, okay, so he says, so either way, but he basically bring, bringing out that Bina could be, is called Shechina. And the same way we could say that the level of Malchus says is in Etzillus, is also called um, a Shechina. And as you look in the Sefer Zer Akiah, beginning of Breshis, and the Sefer Eshavram, about this, and I couldn't find this quote in this, in, in, and I didn't have the, the, the safer to find it. So he says there that the Kashishano Kain Rayasi, which Shoshana goes on the level of Machos, the rose, and Kain Rayasi, and so it's Mashma the theory he is explaining that it's the way Machos is in Atsilas itself. Okay, so he says, but in the Shas of the Arizal, in that which he says, in the Duramaschil, that you should know what the Maharaj Zal said, you should go and make yourself small, which is what the God says to the moon, after the moon complains, that there's two luminaries that are equal. So he says there that this idea of that's Hashem telling Malchus, that go down into the worlds of Biyat, that you should make yourself small and go down into the worlds of Biyat. So this is also like the Maggot said to Rebbe Beis Yosef, if you, look, if you look there, that on this level it says, go and make yourself small, because the level of Machos Atzilus, as it is of Atzilus itself, doesn't go down into this world. It stays up in the world of Atzilus. So it's only the way it comes down, that that is where you have the level of Shechina. And also, and he said that the, uh, the, the idea of Atik Yoimin of Bria, which is the, the point, the, the idea of Malchus, of Atzillus, that Hashem set apart to it, go and make yourself small and be the head of foxes. Or, um, because that is the head of the entire creation of the whole Bria, and that is the idea of Atik Yemen of Bria. So we have this exact idea here. And look over there also in Sharm Aleph, say Perak Beis, and then in Sharm Em Zayin, Perak Aleph, and he says, and everything that is a, a, something of Kedusha, it makes an impact in its place, and even though it leaves from there, um, it always has this nekuda, it's always at the head of Bria, meaning even, because we'll see later on in the Mimer, the Malchus goes down, but then later on it goes back up, and it has a unification with Zah, and in that unification, even though it's gone up from the world of Bria, it leaves a mark where it was, the Kedusha doesn't leave its place, and therefore it's always there at the head of Bria, and basically that's what he's saying, we're talking about the level of Shechina, is specifically as the Malchus is the attic of the world of Bria. Okay, so now he says, that just so in the same way, similarly, it's also with the level of Neshamis, they also have these two levels, because the Neshamis, their, the Neshamis, their source, is from the inner levels of the Kalim of Atzillus. Okay, so what does it mean, inner levels of Kalim of Atzillus? So generally, and a lot of this will be in the, in, as he says in a moment, explained in, in, in the Masa Yuvah Chayoi, in, in Tanya, per, uh, Simen Chaf, um, <coughs> that there's different, uh, every person has inner uh, vessels and outer vessels. So outer vessels would mean, for example, um, we speak as things that are outside of us, um, or things we do, we act, these are things that are external. Then we have more inner uh, levels of uh, of. Uh, of of vessels, um, which could be our emotions. Um, and emotions very often, they come out through the yichud um, of, uh, of, uh, of you know, how you could, you could, yichud the shikin, that sometimes is considered also from, from the intellect. Um, I think as, as but the, 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 and I don't want to go into all that now, but there's, and then there's even deeper, which is the essential person that comes through the hamshacha of the tipa, of, uh, of uh, which happens specifically through a physical union of, uh, of male and female, as we'll see soon. And so each one could bring out a deeper level uh, uh, within the keli. So the neshamis, as we know, they come from, um, as a child is born from a man and woman, so too it comes from, but it comes from the essence of both. So we say that the neshama comes from the inner keli, right, of Atzillus. And even though he says the neshama itself is a limited being, he explains because the idea of, of the vessels and the lights of Atzillus, the, the light is endless. It is ain't sof, has no end. 
But the kalim, they are limited things. As explained in the Gersa Kredesh in the Dermasal Iva Chayoy. Now you could ask, how are they limited? Uh, we just learned before that there's no time and space. And so if so, what's the limit? So the limit is, is that they're whatever the keli is, they're chesed, they are chesed, they're not gvura, right? So they have a certain limitation. And so on this it says that the height of the creator of the begin of, of, of the world is 266, uh, 236,000, 10,000s of parsas. Parsas is a, is, a, is a measurement of space. So, and therefore, in the idea of revelation of the light from the 10 spheres, there's different ways. Sometimes the light overcomes the vessel, and it's the more powerful one in the birth, and then the revelation is in a way of ain't suf, and endless, just like the light is. And sometimes the vessel is the thing that is over is, is, is the stronger presence in what's being born. And the Nishamas, they actually come from the inner levels of the Kalim, and therefore what's more powerful by them to a certain extent is these Kalim, and therefore these vessels cause that they should also be limited, because the vessels, they limit the light. And therefore it's actually, you're able to call it a Nishama, because it has a, some type of identity that has a limited thing that you could call something. <coughs> and also, <coughs> the Nishama is much smaller than the vessels itself, they're much lower level, <coughs> like a one drop out of the seas, that you can't compare the one drop to the entire sea, so to the a soul in comparison to the actual vessels. So if the vessels of Atsilis are already limited in some way, the Nishama, sure. <coughs> so he says that. Now, when the Nishamas are above, still in the world of Atsilis, then they're called brothers and lovers of, and friends, so to speak, of Zah. Um, and then they get drawn down through the unity of Zah and Malchus, of Zah and Nukva, that they should be coming to a pregnancy within Malchus of Atsilis. So the bottom line is that, as we'll see in this mimer, and we'll say it a bunch of times, the, 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 the way a neshama is developed is similar to the way a, a person is developed. Which, the beginning, there's a tipa, there is a, there is a, um, a, uh, 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 call it sperm, that comes from the male to the female, but that sperm develops first within the male himself. And it starts first in his level of his mayach, of his brain. And then it starts developing. At that point in the brain, it's very spiritual. And as it descends through the person, it becomes more and more viable, and more and more uh, uh, um, of, of something. <coughs> Until at the end, it becomes a tipa. It's a, it's, right? So here we have that as that tipa has already been developed within the male, and still within him, so at that point, that neshama, as it is in za, meaning the male, the six midas of Atzilis, which is the male here, as it is there, it's still called a brother. Why? Because it's on par with the za itself. It's within the za still. Then afterwards, it gets drawn from the male, from za, into malchus. But as malchus is still within the world of Atzilis, and there it goes through what's called the pregnancy. So in this pregnancy, as it is in Malchus Tatzilis, that is where it says that Elio said that, that, uh, that um, as Hashem is alive, that I stood before him, which, in other words, that I, that I stood before Hashem. And at that time is when they're called, the souls are called the daughters of Yishalayim. Why? Because Hashem is standing there in this total um, unity and totally nullification in the light of the Ern Saf, as it is before the separation and this curtain, which is, um, it, 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 then it's like the nullification of the vessels of the tenth spheres itself, which we know in the world of Atzilis, he and his vessels are one. So, so do these neshamas are totally one within Atzilis. <coughs> Look at part of an explanation of Zachary Shabbos and on Pasuk Sampa Katkoid. And that's where he says the meaning of Benois Yerushalayim, the daughters of Yerushalayim, that they are able to receive, like a, like a vessel, able to receive the level of Yerushalayim, which is Yerushalayim, a complete uh, a nullification to Hashem, that's in Malchus, they get, they get the fear of Malchus completely. And that's where it says in Hashem that you put inside of me to hear it, it's pure. That means that's the way it is still in Atzillus. But then we say further on, God, that in Hashem that you put in me to hear it's pure, so you created it, because then it goes into a lower level, that's when it descends, the Hashem descends into Bria. 
and it's known that between Atzilus and Bria, there's a there's a parsa, there's a there's a there's a separation, there's a curtain, which is called in the term of the Gemara Pargo, the screen. So that there should be able to be created, they should be created things. So it comes out that just as in the level of Malchus, there's these two levels. One is the way it is in Atzilus, and the second one, the way it, resi- it comes down and resides in the in the room of the Holy of Holies that's in the Bri- words of Bria Bri- and Asiya, and it becomes, as we said, an attic of Bria, the same way it is on the Shamas, that they also come from the inner left v- vessels of the of the of, of Atzil- of the Nishamas, that they get drawn down from the inner vessels of Malchus. They also have these two levels in the same way. And that's the idea of Tahirihi and pure, the way it is in the higher level, and Atabarasa in the lower level, as it is in Atik of Bria. He says, now, in the descent of the Nisham into the world of Bria, Sir and Asiya, and the same way also he says, into the level of Malchus, as it is coming down into Bria, that is when it's called Kala. <coughs> From the world, from the term of Kosanafshi, that my soul expires and it's thirsting for God. Right? So in the first Mimer, we learned there's a the idea of the term of uh, from the term that it destroys me, I'm nothing. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the, the language of Kosanafshi, my soul is out, is 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 leaving, it's trying to go to a higher level in a thirst for God. And so he says, he says in his in the in, the, in Idra Zutta, that like this, that at this level he's called the Kalo. In other words, because it went down into Bria, which is a level of limitation. On the other hand, at Silas, which there the light is the level of Ain't Saf, therefore my soul is going out and, and saying, when will I come and see the revelation of the light of God? Because in Bria, the revelation of God is in a limited way. And it's through this separation. And therefore the Malachim there say three times a day, Kadesh. And, and which, in other words, because every four hours you have to say it over again, say Kaddish again, because their grasp and their what the the, the 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 sustenance they're getting from God and the light is limited, and therefore he has an excitement for godliness from this only for four hours until he has to say Kaddish again, because if he would have a greater revelation than what lasts for four hours, <coughs> <coughs> which would be a greater revelation from Malchus greater than it is for that period of time, he would totally become nullified in his entire existence. And as it says that God would put his little finger amongst the angels and they would burn. And therefore the neshama, as it is there, as a limited being, then it's kleis anefesh, it's desire to leave and to become one within God. It, it comes, that, 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 that it comes from a revelation or from a level of limitedness to a revelation of unlimitedness is an unbelievable desire um, that is revealed within the person and, and you, you, you thirst of the soul going out even more than any, and anything as it says, when will I come and reach and be able to see godliness? Why? Because he doesn't have it yet. And that is why it says, this is what it says, Zichrus Hashem remember God from the distance. And therefore he's called a Kala. Okay. It's about the Neshamas that are standing in the level of Atzillus. In other words, as they are still within the pregnancy. As Malchus is <clears throat> within Atzilus, that's called my sister. So before we said that, as they are in Zah, they were called Achim, brothers. Now, as they're in Malchus, they're called sisters, because there the love of God is not in a flame of fire like the Kala. Only it's a more hidden love and nullified love. But it says there that as we said. The, the maidens, they go within the courts of the kings together with the queen, etc. That they stand there in the courtrooms of Atzillus, in the, court, in, the, in the rooms, so to speak, the realms of Atzillus, and they receive the entire re- fear of God that's there in a complete way, and therefore they're called daughters of Yerushalayim. And even though they're there in a limited way, as we said before, the Neshamas are coming from the inner Kalim, and therefore they're limited, yet they have the revelation that he and his light and his vessels are on one, and the light that's within them is a level of Ein Saf. And therefore, they are absolutely, they are at least, they're totally nullified in a total nullification to the Ein Saf as it is before this separation. On the other hand, in Bria, that's a different story, and therefore only in Bria are they called Akala. Okay, so just a, a note here. So what does it mean that they're totally nullified there? I mean, they're limited, so they're, and they can't be totally nullified, they're separate. So an example we could give to this, if you take a candle, 
which is uh, uh, limited, and you put it into a massive flame. So now you would never see any difference between the two, right? It would be totally one within the flame. But if you pulled it back out, you would see that it's its own flame. So too, in essence, the neshama, and so to the kalim of Atzillus, do have some identity. But the moment that they get part of the Ur the Ur Saf shines within them, then all you see is the Ur Saf, the light of Hashem that's Ein Saf, and that becomes their entire identity as long as they're in that realm, and therefore they're, so to speak, totally nullified within this oneness. <coughs> okay, so he says, if so, comes understood that this is a great descent, sorry, that this descent and this distance causes an even greater ascent, that through that they're able to come to the level of Kala. She said that specifically then the Abishra is called to them a chasan, as it says in the day of his chasan, the groom, the day of his biyam chasunasi, the day of his wedding, this is Matan Torah, because as we say, that noivlis chachma shalomayla Torah, we've said this already before, and Rashi says a dugma, a, 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 a dogma means a, uh, a uh, not a parable, but, a, but something similar. A similar thing to wisdom um, is Torah. In other words, of, of Chachma of above is Torah. But if you see other Mepharsh from there, they learn, and it's actually uh, important to hear, they learn that the meaning of Noivlis is from the Pusik. The Pusik says the word novel means a, shr- uh, a shriveled fruit, um, and a shriveled fruit on the tree, or ultimately a, tr- a, 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 a or it says a <coughs> baby fruit, <clears throat> that has fallen off the tree when it's not ripened yet. It's an immature fruit. Basically, and it and it falls off the tree. Um, and so the idea is that noivelist, they say, means that something that is very small, but coming from something that it could have been much bigger, and a little small thing comes from something big, it's called noivelist. And I think this is what he's referring to here, because he's specifically bringing this down as an idea <coughs> of how this gets planted um, in the world and something that's similar to the original, which would be much more understood in this idea of being a fruit that's, so to speak, at a lower level than imperfect, but 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 yet the same. So he says, we say the novel of Chachma of above is Torah. It's an example of a, of a, of a physical um, tipa again, of this sperm that descends and it gets drawn down from the, in, from the brain itself and through its descent, through an entire evolvement, through the spine of the person. It becomes more physical, and then it becomes ultimately, after the spine, a physical sperm. But yet, it has within it, from the power of the intellect and its essence itself, to be able to give birth to something that's similar to the person who is (coughs) birthing this child. The same way, through Torah, sorry, through through, the same way, Torah itself is drawn down from the level. Of Chakim Media, from the wisdom, the godly wisdom, but just, which is not a known wisdom, so it's unknown, and yet from there it comes and it evolves all the way down until it can become down into physical things, and therefore it's called Noivelus. <clears throat> and he gives you a few places to look up. And he says, just like a, a, a seed, a sperm, that has become physical, and then it has to become impregnated and has to be held, so to speak, in the level of the Kala which means in the neshamas of the Jewish people that learn Torah in this physical world, therefore the neshamas, before they get, are created, while well, they're still at the level of pregnancy, in the level of malchus, as it still is in Atzillus, there they're taught the entire Torah. And then comes the malach, and he gives him a flick on his, on his lip, so that he should get the entire Torah, but what is it for? So through that which he toils, he goes, comes back to his learning. In other words, that he's able to then hold on to, impregnate himself, with that sperm of Torah, with that tipa of this drop of Torah, so to speak, which is a Torah as it is down here in this world. And therefore it says the day of his wedding is the day of Matan Torah, because the revelation and the level of revelation of Torah and its ascent down here is the level of chasam, as a, which is to go down a level. That's what a, 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 a groom <coughs> means, chasam, in Torah, to descend the level. In other words, that it should come down Torah in a revealed way from the supernal wisdom. That until it comes to this impregnation within the Kala, that is the level, of, that's the idea of, 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 of the day of his wedding, and when he's called the Chassan, etc. Therefore, in Shir Hashirim, everything is ter- used in the term of Chassan in Kala, of bride and groom, and also from the learned term of Daidi, my beloved. In other words, that so as it is, in, just as it is in every in, in specific soul, 
that in its descent into the worlds of Briyat, and Asiya, it's specifically then. It's called the Kala, so too, the level of Malchus itself, when it actually descends to become Atik to the world of Briya, then it is called with the term of Kala. And what does it mean, Kala word, mean here? So he says, Kol He means all and then five, which Kol all means a general level. That's what the meaning of the word Kol is. And in other words, because it's a general makeup of all the Midas, as we know, the ten spheres of Malchus, they get drawn and they're made from the ten. Malchus that there is in and all the ten spheres of Atzilus. In other words, each of the ten spheres of Atzilus is made up of his own ten spheres. <coughs> so the Chachma of Atzilus has a Malchus of that Chachma. And Bina has a Malchus of Bina. All those Malchus, they make the ten spheres. And he says, as it starts like, from the Kesser, uh, from the Malchus of the Kesser of Atzilus becomes the Kesser of Malchus. And then what's the added level of the hay? is the revelation, in other words, where it is revealed. Where is it revealed? As we said before, the level of Shechina. As it goes down into Biyah, then there's revelation of it. Then it has its revelation. Before, as it's above, it's just united with the Aryan Saf, and there's no revelation. And to look also what it says in the Pasuk, and there he says the coil is related to the Nun Shari Bina, to the 50 gates of Bina, and ultimately as it gets drawn down into the person and into the lowest of levels, so to speak, <coughs> and so as he says here also that specifically as it comes down into lower levels then you have the klita so to speak the impregnation that's when it's called the level of kal okay so he said this is what it says that i'm black yet beautiful that the source of the shamas of the jewish people as they are in bria which that's the level of <coughs> Um, Hamalchus, when it's called Shechina, it says to the daughters of Yishulayim, which are the Neshama, so they stay, still are in Atzilus, in Malchus, that I am black because of the descent into the level of limited things and becoming limited, but yet I'm beautiful because through this there's a greater revelation as, a, as there is in the levels of the daughters of Yishulayim, which is the Neshama as you are in the, in, the, in the realms of Atzilus. And he says, this is what it says in the verse, Come and go in, in, in tears. Carry the, the, the bag of seeds, in other words, in planting. You'll come in joy. Carrying your, 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 your harvest, the, 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 the sheaves. And so this is what he look in the, the explanation of this in Shuma Yisrael. And there at length he speaks about that this is the idea that the Malchus goes down into the world and specifically as it plants, and makes everything in the world through the mitzvahs, gashmi, the physical mitzvahs, through that there becomes a whole growth that comes above. <coughs> that, <coughs> as we'll see soon, the Malchus reunites with Zah and ultimately could draw down a whole new tipa, a whole new light, which brings a whole new blessing down into the world. And so this idea is all expressed in this verse. But now he's going to go into this more. He says the reason for this is, we said, because specifically there in this world where it becomes a kala. And the Abishter then, the Hashem is called then a level of chasam, a groom, which that is the level of drawing down Torah from the essence of the Chachmi law in much higher than, the, uh, than its source and the, uh, and the understanding and grasping that the Neshama could have within the uh, uh, realms of Atzillus. And it says in part Lechacha, an idea of Lechacha, an idea of Neilas Chachma again, that are above our Torah. He said, let's understand what the Maggid said to the Beis Yosef, as we said before, about this story, that this, this lesson of the Maggid to the Beis Yosef, which is brought down there in the Shalah, that he, everything that's said about the unification of the Ferris, which I believe here, the meaning here, the Ferris means za of Midas, Umalchos, together with kingship, which is Malchos, that everything is, he says there, that everything is the way they are <coughs> shining within their sheath, within their covering, which means as they are in milk Malchus, that's called Shechina. And that's like, similar to what he's saying here, that that is when they're called Kala. That is when, um, you, as we said before. And the reason for this is, and he said, because the Chayra, it's not understood. The Malchus, as he is in Atzillus, as she is in Atzillus, is a much higher level um, than it is when it descends. And so therefore, um, the, the, uh, so, with, so what is the need, what is this unification of Zah, the Midas of Atzillus, the, together with Malchus, which is called the Yechud of uh, Kuchabrichu, of, of the Kaddish Baruch Hu and his Shechina, 
which is the idea of drawing down the level of the surrounding lights of the world into the filling lights of the world, which is <coughs> the highest level to be drawn down. So why is this only happening in a level of Kala, which is the Malchus that goes down into Bria, but, but, but rather, it becomes a Bria, but yet, and then when it goes back up into Atzillus and becomes united there with Zah face to face, as you can see in Eitz Chaim, Shanam Zayin, Perak Aleph, and in Pri Eitz Chaim, and the Kavanah Sech Shema, and Shema Nasri. So the question here is, is that it comes out that the unification of Zah Malchus happens after Malchus, as we said before, goes down into the world. <coughs> the lower level that became Kala, specifically that, could go back up and become unified face to face in understand in a union between the chassan and kala between Hashem and, and, and Malchus, between Zah and Malchus, but it only happens in the level of Malchus that descended. On the other hand, the level of Malchus that never descended doesn't have this. So look, what he's asking, the level of Malchus that never descended is much higher. So why doesn't it have it? Why doesn't it have this unification? So he says, so the idea will be first be understood with introducing which explains in other places that we have to understand an idea of the unit of uh, supernal unities, in other words, the yichud means a unification. Then why do they call them in Zohar and Eitzchayim with the term of a physical uh, um, zivug, a physical uh, um, 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 uh, uh, marriage, a physical unification of, of two things? And it's called there the zivug, the, the called marriage of za and Nukva, of the Zerampin, the, the Midas and Nukva mean Malchus feminine and such things. So he says, because the main thing and meaning of Zivug and Yichud, what does it mean this marriage, this, this, this unity? It's really just the sustenance and the revelation of the light that's coming from a giver, a Mashpia, <coughs> to a Makabal, to a receiver. So if so, it would have been much nicer to give this example in a different way of sustenance. For example, like the sustenance and the ideas that a teacher gives to a student. Or you could say the uh, the ashpa, the sustenance that's given from a rich man to a poor man, which is talking. So why do they have to go and, and clothe it into such a physical and coarse um, 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 example like this? Which is, so he says, no, because there's a very big difference between the sustenance that a teacher gives a student and, because, and the unity between male and female. Because in the sustenance that's given from a teacher to a student, there's only the sustenance from the teacher himself, and the student's only a secondary thing that's only a receiver. On the other hand, when it's the unification of male and female, so then the woman is also seeding, as we say, the red, or oidem, which means her own um, um, seed, her own <coughs> <coughs> egg, that from there comes, as we say in the Gemara, uh, meat and other things of the person. In other words, it's not only that there's the, as the Gemara says it, that there's the white, the loivin that comes from the man, and then there's the oidem, the red that comes from the woman, and together. So the white makes certain things like uh, bones, and the red makes certain things like flesh, or the black of the eye, etc. And the same way we say, as it says in the Pasuk, that a woman, when she will seed, and the rabbi said, when a woman seeds first, she gives birth to a male, meaning that there's something here that she's giving. And absolutely the other opposite is, opposite is true because the main creation of the child comes from the seed and the egg of the woman, <coughs> of the female. Only, yet she's still called, for a reason, the, this, the, the female is still called the macabre, the receiver. Why? Because the seed, in other words, this egg of the, of the female, it doesn't have the power to, so to speak, congeal and, and, to, and, to, and, to, uh, and, to, and to become a something. And that the child should like form from it, except through the seed of the male. And just like milk, that to congeal, to become cheese, right? So it has to, it only you have to have it through putting into it a cava, which is like a piece of <coughs> stomach or something like that from the animal. And that's where it says, like milk, I will pour, and I'll become congealed, I'll become like, I'll become uh, uh, more. I would say or congealed or to, to become more substance like cheese. Substantive. So he says, so the same way also above in the supernal unity, it's also this way. That there's a level of man, there's a level of my nukvin, which means male, female waters, feminine waters. And then there's my masculine waters. Okay, so masculine waters are waters that descend. 
feminine waters are waters that ascend. So even though we know that the level of mad, the, the, the masculine waters, <coughs> is drawing down from, as we said before, the tipa comes from the supernal unity. Sorry, the supernal wisdom, which in it is, is, is enclosed the light of the erring self. But this is only, when does it get drawn down? Only when there's first an elevation of the feminine waters through the, re, the, 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 uh, the refinement of the 288 sparks, through that which a man dobbins him, with his love and fear and the power of the eating and drinking that he did. He refines the klipa of noiga, the, the, and then from the wolf he makes tzitzis, and from the parchment he makes tefillin. And this is all, this feminine water of the female of malchus of atzillus, Sorry, this is what the, the, the feminine water of, of, of the feminine Malchus of Atzillus, as it's enclosed within the lower worlds of Bria, Yitzir, and Asiya, to refine all the 288 sparks, etc. So in simple words, even a, fe- I mean a woman, so everything that she has within herself, and, and, and the, 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 uh, <coughs> the egg and all the zera that she will provide, comes from things that she ate and things that she drank and, and, and her blood and everything else. The same way Malchus, how does it come that she has this zera, this mind nukvin? It comes from the, ref, the, the, the eating and drinking and, so to speak, all the physical mitzvahs of the world that it's refining and ultimately being elevated to her. And then when she has it in Malchus, she then elevates it all up to make this unity with Za. So he says, now we know that the source of this feminine waters is much higher because it comes from the world of Tayu, which is before there was the level of Tikkun and there was a king in Israel, so to speak. But yet, this masculine water, it's the one that will be able to refine, it'll be able to make this process happen within the feminine water <coughs> to that, that, in the, that it becomes impregnated, it can become congealing, and one that becomes a, a, a child. But we know that after this re- um, um, refinement, the two go up even higher to the level of sag, which is higher than mad of ma. So basically, the level of ma is the level of za, which is the chachma that, as it is within za, is what we call ma. And so that's where the level of ma, the, the ma- masculine water, descends from. And then when the feminine water comes up and the two unify, then it goes to a higher level of sag, which is in the level of bina. And it's known from the idea of the of the Aishas Chayla Teres Baila that when when a valor is the crown of her husband, in other words, he, she becomes the crown even higher than her husband. He says, and therefore the the the, 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 the Zayar and the Etzchayim had to give the example of the of the for the of supernal unity, specifically from a marriage and unification of male and female, because even though it's a very physical example, because that's the only one that actually brings out the way it is in the spiritual realms. So according to this, we understand the reason <coughs> why the supernal unity is only in the level of, specifically in the level of Shechinda, which is Malchus, as it goes down into the level of Bria, because the main um, 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 bureau, the main uh, uh, um, um, refinement of the 288 sparks is in the worlds of Bria, Tzir, Nassim, and then because of Natsilis, it says there's no, there's no evil there whatsoever. And so when it descends into Bria, then it's able to refine and be mavara this man. And specifically through, through, through this, there can become afterwards the supernal unity. That means that the, then the Malchus will reascend back up into Atzillus and face to face be with Zah. But still the idea is, uh, okay, so then that's basically also explaining what we said before, about um, in this entire concept that the Malchus comes down, it gets and receives here that, that which it could bring back up even greater and higher and elevate and make the greatest unity and then draw down even greater light, <coughs> <coughs> so to speak, the light of Mashiach, may we have it immediately. He says, yet, the idea is, as he says in the, in, in the Ramez of Ramesh Zakuto and Parshas Kisisa, and I did not have the Svarim here, so I'm going to just go through as quickly, that you could know that the supernal, that the, that the supernal uh, rose, which is the Malav Machos Tatsilis, which is called Rayasi, my beloved, and the rabbi said, Mefarnes Sasi, is what gives me my Parnas, in other words, it sustains me. Why? Because all the refinements of the things that are elevated from, a, from below to the lower level of Machos, they go up into the level of Machos Tatsilis. And from it, the Machos of Atsilis ascends 
and brings up a level of, as you said, feminine water to its husband, to her husband, the level of Zah. And through that, there becomes a whole new uh, um, 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 sustenance into the world. So basically, all the Parnassah, everything that we have Parnassah in the world, is coming specifically from the level of Malchus that comes down into this world. And so look at what it says in the Mimer, Mizmah Shechonik Sabayis, in the idea of Evan Moshua Bainim. And there he explains at length that, that <coughs> we know that the woman is the Akaris Sabayis. She's the foundation of the house, and all brachas only comes before in order for somebody's wife. In other words, everything is happening because of her work, so to speak. Yes, ultimately there has to be some level of the zah, the level of the husband that, so to speak, we say causes the congealing. But all this is being done, and it says there even more that we have the level of Rachel gives her her wife Bila, not her wife, her 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 maid Bila, um, to build with. That it's not in the world of Rachel necessarily, but the way Rachel descends, even in the level of Bila, and that's the Evan Maswa Bainim, that this stone, in other words, the things of this world, that the great ones of Atzilis, etc., Masu, that they're, they, 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 they disregard, they're the ones that bring out this greatest um, Nasu the Reish Pina, that comes the source of all sustenance. And you see here also in Ramaz, Perish and he says, I don't know what that is. And he says, Pinchas, Rachel become one. And I don't know what that is either. And you could look also in Ish Pashas Truba, Gabi Mizais. Okay, then also look in Pashas in the Mimer, Zachas, and Mashabas, and the idea of the ascent of the Nishamas that come after they descend into the body. That in the beginning, they were only in a level of unification of he and, their, and his vessels are one. But then when they come down into the Nefesh, in other words, that's the way it was before they came down into the body. And through that, which they come into a Nefesh of Bahamas. They ascend to become into a level of unity of he and his light being one, which is a greater and higher level of unity. And so it's all understood from what he says here, that when they are the world that's Silas, when they come from the inner levels of the Kalim, that's like we said before, they are similar to Iyuv they and the vessels. But when they come descend into Biyah, they go and, and end up ascending to a much higher level, and that's why Shechar and Ivanava, they are more beautiful afterwards and beautiful through this descent.